Hello legends and super legends. Elder here. Welcome to Vela Harmony. Today what I'd like to do, I, um, I made a promise to Spottyware to do a review and then I got uh, a little bogged down and behind schedule with moving the Jiro videos to my website. I had to set up more resources on my website. You know, there's a bunch of technical stuff I needed to do, but it just took some more time than I figured. And I've got that behind me. So I wanted to go ahead and do a couple of reviews. I've got a few jerseys in the queue. I'll be doing some reviews later on in the week as well. But what I wanted to do today was to talk about uh, the Spotty Wear long sleeve jersey. I also got the Spotty Wear in black. And I haven't worn it yet, but I've worn the color in red that you guys saw on the bike ride. And one thing that I found, the, the fit is very consistent. And just slip the black on so you guys can see how it looks. One thing about black, it always makes you look thinner than you are. I don't know why, but it just does. <laughs> so uh, I don't do a lot of black on black very often. If I do, I will wear like a pair of white socks or something to contrast the black. But you can see it fits fairly well. Now, uh, the theme of this unboxing is you don't, all your jerseys don't need to be very expensive. Okay, let's face it. This jersey retails for about $29.95. He's got them on sale for like $19.95 on uh, Amazon. I'll put the link down there. But it's a nice jersey. It doesn't say a whole lot. If I hadn't done these videos and I wore these jerseys, this jersey on a ride, it would just be nondescript. I'm just a rider on the ride. And that's kind of cool. There's sometimes you, you want that. You know, there are other times that you want to make a statement and then you wear something else. And I'll be doing other reviews. But uh, this jersey functions as a lightweight jersey. It's very breathable. It's not for deep winter riding. Uh, you know, you'd have to do a lot of layering because this is very breathable. So it fits consistently like the blue that I had. And so I really like the jersey. It's not, you know, it's my least expensive jersey I've owned. And I'm very pleased with the, with the material. So I'm going to take this off now and I'm going to put on the long sleeve. What I found with the long sleeve was there were no surprises. It's just, it's like the short sleeve that I just tried with longer sleeves. Um, the sleeves are a little looser than I'd like, but this is not a jersey for very cold weather. This is the same fabric as the short sleeve, so it's very breathable. I think this is perfect if it's in the 60s or above, especially on mornings where you know, it's cool to start and it might warm up a little bit. You can get away with this well into the 70s because it's very breathable. And there are people out there that have uh, certain kind of skin situations where they don't like sun exposure. And you guys have probably heard of arm screens or something that some people wear. They look like arm warmers, but they're not. They, they basically shield your skin from just a lot of UV exposure. This jersey could help for, the, for those kind of people that need stuff like that. But this jersey is for mild weather. It's not for cold, cold weather. It's not for, for freezing cold weather. It's, uh, it, it's not the tightest fitting jersey out there, as you can tell from the, the short sleeve. But what I liked about it was the fit was consistent. So it's basically how the short sleeve fits with just longer arms. Now it's gonna fit everybody differently depending on your body type, I'm sure. Um, there was a legend that uh, I think Adrian, we rode together last week, and he said that to him, this seemed a little flimsy. And then Paul, my buddy that I ride with a lot, one of the legends on here, he got one of the spotty wear jerseys, and when he leaned over, it was flapping. I even showed that in the video. So everybody's body type is so different. I'm kind of a medium build, athletic, you know, and so this fits me a lot better than if Paul were to put it on around here. So the thing is the fit varies for everybody, you know, so you can see how it fits me. This is a size large, which I think goes up to a four, from 40 to 42 inches in the chest. And it doesn't feel flimsy on me, you know, so I really like the fit. The pockets are the same. It's got the same tight rubber band that pulls up when you put stuff in there. In fact, the next jersey I'm going to do, 
I prefer the pockets on this jersey than the next jersey, which is almost twice as much as this jersey as far as cost. And you know, so it's nice and everything, but I like the rubber band on this and how the contents of the pocket stay in place with this jersey. So I'm very pleased with this long sleeve jersey. I will put the link down here. It sells for a little more than a short sleeve jersey. I think it retails for like 35 or something like that, but he's got them on sale. Don't quote me on the price. I will put the actual price there when I do the production of this video uh, so you guys can see it. But so it's not, it's not flimsy on me. Uh, one of the other guys that ride with us, like I said, Adrian said it was flimsy on him. So it's going to vary depending on the fit. So you may want to consider how you size it, but it should be consistent with the size you would get if you were getting the short sleeve jersey. You don't want to go too far down in sizing on cycling jerseys because then the pockets end up being way up and you can't get in there. You can't get your hand in there when you're riding. So keep that in mind. But I mean, for this is what? $35 or less. I don't know what it's on sale for. I'll put the price there, but the jersey fits me very well. So that's the key. It's a matter of how it fits you. So I will definitely uh, be considering getting a couple of colors. I don't know. I got so many jerseys, so it's kind of like, you know, up in the air. The, the arm is very long. It reaches all the way down to my wrist, which is very functional when you wear a long sleeve jersey. But Again, this is for mild weather. I would say 50, 50 degrees and above. I will put the Celsius down there when I do this in the production. So it's not for miserably cold weather. Uh, you could use it to layer up and it would work because it's very breathable. So it would work in those conditions. So you could wear it, maybe put a jacket on top, put a base layer under, and it would probably work. You know. So yeah, it, uh, it's nice. It's just, it fits just like the small one on me. And so I don't have anything really different to say than when I did the blue ones, just a different color with longer arms. The sleeves are long enough, you know, to reach all the way past your wrist bone. So that's really good. So that's the spotty wear jersey. I'll put the link down in the description for those of you who want to check them out. Now I want to go on to the La Passion jersey. A gentleman on here, one of our legends, his name is... Uh, Simon Moses put a comment out when I did the review of the Spotty Wear Blue jersey and he said, try La Passion. This is a La Passion jersey. Uh, the Passion, basically, loosely translated from French. And it's, I've never owned one before, but I actually rode in this on Saturday, uh, last Saturday, the last group ride. And I'm going to put it on. I already got it clean and everything. It has a full zip. The zip is the color of the jersey itself. So it's kind of blends in nicely. There is no cover on the zip. The zip just matches the jersey really well. I like the way it fits. It fits the body very tight. The arms are a little long, but they're not hard to get off like the Rafa Aero jersey. You don't need to do anything special. The material is very stretchy. First thing I'm going to remove is this okay it's stitched into the jersey I'm gonna take a, a razor take my time and get it off of there there is no point in this they need to stop putting that on the jersey they got enough stuff on the jersey I think there's one on the back that's enough to advertise it doesn't need to be on the arm there's no point to that so that's about I was just gonna move that so I like the jersey it has a lot of uh, holes in it I'm gonna come up close to the camera so you guys can see, very breathable. I wore it, it was kind of warm. It was almost like 80 to 83 degrees on the ride and I was not uncomfortable. The issue I had is I had the pockets. The pockets are very generous. Those of you who have jerseys where the middle pockets, they're making some of them very narrow, you can't get stuff in there, it's not a problem here. These pockets are huge on this jersey. The issue is when you put a lot of stuff in there, and you stand up, they bounce around a little more than I'm used to. You know, the jersey itself fits very well. I actually like this color. I got, I got a white and I got a, a yellow. I think I'll try them on so you can see them. But this is La Passion. It's about, uh, they have some jerseys for 79. They have some for 87. So it's kind of a mid-price jersey. 
So you figure it's about twice the price of the, of the spotty wear, you know, and I bring jerseys like spotty wear. I bring jerseys like La Passion and in a few days, I'll bring something on a higher price range because I want this channel to be for everybody. You know, I, I don't want to act like we're snobs and we just look for expensive stuff or whatever. There are people out there that just want to spend 30, 50 bucks on a jersey. We need to expose them to what's out there. There are people who want to spend maybe 80, 85 like this one. And there are people who want to look at Rafa. You know, I get Rafa stuff, but a lot of them I get when it's on sale. It's about the price of La Passion, you know, and the qualities there. So La Passion is very Rafa-esque, if you know what I mean. The quality is good. The jersey fits. I can feel it hugging my body. Very tight. The spotty wear was a fit between a club fit and this jersey. A little loose on you, but still form-fitting. This one grabs your body. Okay, not constricting, but you feel it almost like a compressive, a compressive feel. That's how it's holding my entire body from up here all the way down. And I hope I'm not disturbing the mic too much by touching up there. But it, it's a compressive feel. So before I came to do this, after I rode, I had mixed feelings when I used it on the ride because I had a bunch of stuff. And to be fair to the jersey, I had a huge camera in the pocket. So that's not a very good example of what you normally carry and I'll show you guys there aren't too many cyclists going out there with this in their pocket this thing is huge the three-way and when you put it in there what I do is I put it like this it's it's a big piece of material so when you move I mean you see like right now it's not too bad so I had that in there and then I had this bag the big bag I had the bag, my SF bags, with my phone in there. So it, it's, it's a handful. And I had that in the middle. Then I had food on this side. So it was loaded. And so you can see when I'm standing here, it's nicely packed. But when I was moving, it was moving around. I believe that that was not a fair representation because we were doing a lot of climbing. We had... Uh, we had a guy in a group that, uh, one of our bigger group rats for Velo Harmony, you know, we're just growing our group now, it's taking off. And we had a guy named Kristen Colonello, and he's like a metronome. You know, he puts it in the gear, and he just goes all day long. So, you know, we were playing. It was fun. I mean, I love that kind of stuff. So it was, it was a real good ride. We made good time. It was Saturday. And so there was a lot of stuff going on. I really didn't do much filming. I just kept the camera in my pocket the whole time. So, you know, it could be. That was part of the, the reason so. But, but standing here with this jersey, I really love the way I, it feels. I had even told my buddy Paul that I wasn't too high on La Passion after my experience on Saturday. But I don't really understand why after washing it and I'm standing here because I wore a base layer with it as well. It feels very, very nice and compressive. It's almost like uh, it's warming your muscles. So... Yeah, I, I, Paul, I was a little off there, I guess. Maybe the ride was too hard or something. I don't know. But uh, this bad boy is a keeper. You know, it's my favorite color, this one anyway. It's a keeper. So let me put on the other color so you guys can see. Uh, this is the bag it comes in. Rafa used to do the same thing. They send their stuff in a musette bag. And La Passion sent it in a musette bag. So I'm going to keep this bag. When we go to rides and stuff where we drive... I can use them. I got a bunch of bags. Rafa stopped doing it. After a while, it got old because I got so many of these bags from Rafa that are just sitting in a drawer there that I really, you know, can't use them. I give, I give gifts to people and I put them in there. So, yeah, uh, let me take this off. So, if you want a jersey that's going to feel like a compression garment when you wear it and very breathable, skin tight, this is it. This jersey works. Uh Prior to coming down to do this video, I was considering sending one or two of these jerseys back. I changed my mind because I don't understand why it felt so weird on Saturday, but I think it's because I was carrying all that crap and just, I don't know what was going on. But anyway, that's the very color I wore. This is the other color I got. And I think you guys will like it. It's very pretty. Like it's got some earth tones on the arm. The jersey is very stretchy. It's got a 
silicone band here, right, right there all around the whole jersey, the entire edge of it. And it just has a good feel. The arms are stitched. And it's got a, uh, there's no, ela there's a small elastic in there, but it's covered with cloth. There's no silicone in the arms. Very, very comfortable. I wanted some different colors. I don't have a jersey that, that does this color. So I picked this. They do make a lightweight jersey. Uh, what, comparable to like a super lightweight from Rafa. But you can see your nipples through the thing. So I don't know. I'll see when they go on sale. I'll, I will get some. So uh, I like the way the jersey fits your body. You know, this is the one in yellow. You can see that. The pockets are very generous. I like that. Then it's angled a little bit on the side. So it's easy to get your hand in there. That's always a, 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 a talking point. It's always a plus for a cyclist. Just look how easy. Look at that. So when your jersey is sized right, the pocket's in the right place. If you get a jersey that's too small, sometimes the pocket's way up, and then you, you have to reach. So you got to be careful about that. But this is the one in yellow. You can see how it fits. This is a size for 42 inches. I don't know if they call it XL or L. I'll put the graphics down there when I do the production and look up the sizing. But their, their, their sizing chart is true to fit. Because that's what I use. I use my chest size and got that. I'm a 42. I think this is an XL. I think their sizing is similar to Santini and all the other European guys. But the, the, the feel of the jersey is it grabs you almost like an elastic feel. Not too tight. Just enough compression to where your body just feels nice and warm. It just keeps everything in place. I mean, it's, it's really hard for me to, to put into words, but you, 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 when you're riding, you forget you wear the jersey, but when you're standing, you can feel it almost just keeping your muscles warm. And that's that's kind of the feel I'm getting right here. The arms are a little longer than I expected. I mean, they go all the way down. It's like the new aero thing or the new pro peloton thing. And that, that's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. You know, so it, it's okay. But I really like this. Let me try on the white one so you guys can see it. So I will put the prices down there, but I believe it's like $87 or something like that. I got 15% off because it was my first time purchasing from them. I just bought it, you know, to try. And so, so when you go there and you sign up on the website, just put your email address. They send you a code that you use. And I think the next thing I will get from them will be the super lightweight stuff because in a couple of months here in, in Houston, it will be like a steam bath. So those of you that live in Hong Kong and Malaysia, yeah, the super lightweight stuff from these guys is very, very nice looking. I really like the way it looked, but I wanted to try the regular ones first before I splurge. Now, before I go further, let me see if this is the same on all of them. Yeah. Uh, I would be remiss to not show you guys that under, in the middle here, they have almost like a vented, I hope the camera can pick it up. We've got, you see the little holes in there, all down the sides, the arms with the same kind of material, the back is completely vented with that material with the holes in it. That's how breathable it is. They call it their summer jersey. That's what these jerseys are called. And then the front, they've got the regular lycra, uh, I mean polyester, probably polyester and elastane, sorry. And you can see that the back, the shoulders, up to the neck is all vented so that all the heat you generate goes out. Then the bottom of the pocket is vented. And then you got a, there's a nice reflector in the middle here. Wow. Okay. It's a big one. So all the jerseys have a reflector down in the bottom of the middle pocket. And the good thing about this one here, on the arm, they didn't put that stupid, what well, I consider a dumb piece of label, just cheap advertising. It's, oh, actually it is, sorry. It's on this arm. It's sitting there. I mean, it's not a big deal. I may just leave it there. I don't know. I'm just a little picky. That's what my wife says anyway. 
I'm going to throw on the white. But this jersey is very breathable. I wanted to show you that all of them have this material with the, like, a, like a honeycomb in there. And so when you're out riding in the heat, you wick. It wicks everything off your body. I didn't take the zipper out completely. I just wanted to try on the different colors so you guys can see how they fit. So you can imagine it feels like a sock on your body. It hugs your body very nicely. I really like that feel. So you, so you know you're wearing like a body glove. It gets on there and it's a body glove. And this jersey is much lighter than... I, I hung this jersey up here so you guys so I would do a comparison. This is the Rafa Core jersey, which costs a little more. And you can see, I'm going to come close to the camera. The Rafa Core jersey is not a summer jersey. It, the material is heavier than this jersey. That was one of the things I noticed wearing the Rafa Core, like in, I think it was February or March when I got it, something like that. It's a warmer jersey than I expected it to be. And so I'm kind of on the fence about whether I'm going to keep this jersey or whether I'm going to send it back to Rafa. So I'm thinking about that right now as I do this video, because with this white jersey here, I can wear this in more seasons down here in the area that I live. And you can see how it fits. The jersey really fits well. So I'm definitely going to keep it. I was on the fence, but I'm going to keep it. I will be doing another review of a jersey by a company, another company, a new company I found that I think you guys will like. Uh, but what I wanted to wrap up by saying is that not all your jerseys need to be expensive. Not all your jerseys necessarily need to be inexpensive. It's all a matter of choice. I mean, you guys saw that black spotty wear jersey I wore. If you saw me on the road with it, it doesn't say I'm, I'm, I'm $30. You know, this one doesn't say I'm $87. It's just, it's just a matter of how it fits you and how you feel. So it's good to have a variety. You can have a jersey for everyday wear. You can have a jersey for your grand fundos. You know, just like in your closet. You got Sunday wear. You got work clothes. You got yard clothes. You got hanging around the house clothes. It's the same thing. So I'm going to keep bringing different things that I come across so to get you guys exposed to what's out there. And that's the way we kind of want to keep it so that we have enough choice. To, to be able to get, you know, there are people out there just don't want to invest 80 bucks in a jersey. And that, that's their right to have that choice. And there are people out there don't want a $30 jersey. That's their right too. I don't have a problem. I, I want whatever I can get my hands on. If it's reasonable and it fits me, I don't care. I don't, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. As long as it functions well. And I was very, very surprised and pleased by Spotty Wear. So I did this review for Spotty Wear and La Passion so you guys would see the varieties out there, and there's no reason that you can't have it all. You can buy the spotty wear. It's like $19.95 now. And you could also buy one of these and have a good variety and mix it up. You know, wear this when you're in the mood for a tighter fit. Wear the spotty wear in the winter when you want to kind of relax, especially when you're putting on layers. That's how I do it. Not all my jerseys fit like race jerseys. You know, I have the ones that fit really tight. And then I have the ones that are loose and I have some wool jerseys that are very loose. So I just want to share that with you guys. So I hope this will be useful, for, useful for you guys. If you have any questions, put them down below. If you have comments, you can add, put them down below. But uh, check out La Passion. Check out Spotty Wear. Get that long sleeve jersey. I mean, it's kind of for us here that is warming up. The cool thing is when he sent it a couple of weeks ago, we had some cold morning in the 50s and I wore the jersey. I had no problems. So it worked really well. That's how I determined what temperature range it would work. If it's 40 or below, something like that, you'd have to, have to layer under and then maybe throw on a jacket. The Spotty Wear jersey is a great layering option because it's a plain jersey. It would work as a middle layer. So it's got a lot of flexibility. And of course, the La Passion that you saw here, they call them the summer jerseys. So that's why I got them because it's going to be warmer here now. But I've got my eye on the super lightweight stuff that they have. And I will get that and do a review later because those are the kind of things I'm, I'm getting jerseys that will help me ride when our weather in about a month. It's going to be just balmy down here and it's like a steam bath, a lot of humidity. So I just wanted to do that. So I'm going to wrap it up. And no matter what, get out there. Don't let anything stop you.